So the convolution reverb or convolution device of Bitwig Studio is basically, general speaking, it's an Instagram filter for your sounds. Um, but you can put your sound into a room, into a space or through a different device that you can sample with the impulse response. And this impulse response is just a sample, as you can see here, and it's convoluted with your input sound. So you can put your sound through a device via a sample. Um, and here we have this device, we have a sample uh, display in the middle where you can load up your uh, impulse responses or your filter kind of. And then we have here a tune knob where you can um, tune the sample, the impulse response itself. So you can pitch it down by 12 uh, semitones or an octave. So an octave up or an octave down. And we have some kind of EQ, a tilt EQ here where you can amplify the higher frequencies and also um, decrease the lower frequencies or the other way around where you can amplify here the lower frequencies. And this is basically only applied to the impulse response, not to the output sound. So it's a tilt EQ for the impulse response sample. Then we have a pre-delay here where you can um, increase the delay before the impulse response is added or multiplied with the input, uh, with the input signal. So it's just a pre-delay. Then we have here also uh, some sliders or markers where you can decide where your impulse response starts and ends. It's basically just a sampler sampling region. You can decide to change. Um, we have also here a button where you can change the mode from this marker mode to an um, envelope mode. So you have an amplitude envelope here. You can decide to fade out this uh, impulse response pretty early or whatever, whatever feels right for you. So there's an envelope mode where you can change the amplification of the sound over time. And then here there's a width knob where you can change the stereo widthness of the uh, sound or of the output of the wet signal. And when you pull this here down to 0%, you have a mono signal. If you go to 100%, you have like a stereo signal um, or two channels, nothing has changed. And when you go to 150%, you basically amplify the side signals. And then we have a wet uh, gain here, where you can change only the uh, amplification of the wet signal, not of the output signal. So you can change the loudness of the wet signal here. And then of course we have a mix knob, where you can change between the dry signal only, the wet signal only, or a mixture of both and then you can am amplify a bit the wet signal. And we have also a wet FX box where you can put in some um, additional effects, audio effects or VST plugins if you want to, maybe a low cut, a high cut or a chorus or whatever you want to put in there, right? So that's that. You have also an inspector panel and this is basically here the time range for, the, for these two um, markers. You can change this here also. In the inspector if you want to and also the volume volume envelope here this is this mode basically where you can influence what's happen what happens uh, in the display you can change this via some values and also here um, reduce the stereo or uh, when you have a four channel um, impulse response you can see here this is, has only two channels so it's a stereo signal or maybe you load on load in some uh, binaural um, impulse responses with multiple channels, four channels, you can reduce this here to stereo. So this doesn't work now because this is just a two channel impulse response. But when you have a four channel one, then you can reduce this here to stereo. So that's basically the device uh, explained what it does or how it works. Um, I have here a, a snare sound. And this is the try signal. And then you can put it through this um, wooden attic space here. So this is basically an attic uh, sampled with an impulse response in there with a the microphone and the speaker setup. And you can basically put your try snare sound into that space. Right? It sounds like the snare is being played in that room. You can change the room here by changing the impulse response. So we have your multiple uh, presets already in Bitwig Studio, um, maybe here a warehouse, 
It's probably a pretty roomy. Right, so it sounds like you're playing your snare sound in that space. So it's it's kind of an Instagram filter. That's the best uh, analogy I can I could find for this kind of device. Um, it's not a real thing. It's not like you're playing in that room or this room is simulated. It's just a snapshot, a snapshot with the impulse response of that room, how it sounds, and it's always the same sample. So it, the output is always kind of the same thing. So if you put in this, the same sound into the same impulse response, you always get the same outcome. Studio Hall, Spring, Reverb. So you can also use this for, um, if you want to uh, put your sounds through uh, some amplifiers, some real amplifiers or some guitar amplifiers, and it's also nice to use um, that for that. Or maybe uh, um, I sampled here some super massive impulse responses myself. You can also use some rhythmic stuff. It's more like a delay. Here's a train station. Studio sounds. So you can give your sound really texture from a different place via this impulse response. It's a pretty interesting device. And um, there's also a link in the description to some of my videos on the other channel where I try to explain some different uh, workflows for this device. So if you may be interested in that, so look into these videos as well. <laughs> 